narcotics that won't hurt them at all. And then the doctors try to switch them to methadone designed by the Nazis that'll cause cardiac arrhythmias and kill you. It's because there's money in drugs, it's laundered in our banks, and it goes into black op projects like the space platforms around our world and the ET stuff and the hybridization and the super soldiers. And you wouldn't believe what's going on. I mean, I'll just give you one fact. We have a contract underground embryo growing facility in China by Beijing on contract to the U.S. government growing 100,000 cybernetic super soldiers that are chimeric, that are not human. Did you know that? And this is not conjecture. This is checked from multiple sources. This evil is so malignant you can't imagine what's coming. <clears throat> and I'm going to give you an analysis of how this global omnicide is coming. And if you don't understand the spiritual power of this and the intelligence, the dark majesty of the brilliance of, of Satan, okay, this being and his minions, you won't understand this is not a human agenda. Just like Margellan's disease is a terror-forming organism. It literally is 10,000 years ahead of technology we have today to change the human genome. It actually modifies the genes by epigenesis. And it's a silicon-based self-replicating life form. We have proof of that. This is not human technology. It didn't come from a lab here. They even tried to use disinformation of some German scientists. They said, that's garbage. We tore it all apart with Dr. Hildegard Stanninger and uh, a string of other scientists, including pathologists, like Dr. Karim Karju, a pathologist for the US Army, who's done all kinds of scanning EM and everything. We have proof, not conjecture. This is not from this world, OK? It is a way of literally taking over your DNA, making new DNA de novo in your cells and taking over control. And you can block it, and I know how to do it. So if you contact me, I know how to block it. But you've got to stay healthy. You've got to stay unvaccinated. And you've got to stay away from genetically modified food because they're using these gene transfer things like agrobacterium to insert genes into you that will change your biology and make you non-human biological machines. So they want to do a unified uh, global financial system. They want to have a global threat of climate shift. I call them the carbo-Nazis. False shortages of oil, food, all these shortages. And we have Igor, of course, his, uh, I think it's his uh, uh, son is married to the daughter of Adam of Schiff, the Schiff family. These people are all the same. He's got all these jets and all these other places that are just... It's ridiculous. And then look at the World Trade Organization. We've estimated with Dr. Rima LeBeau, Major General Stubblebine, and others like Scott Tips, we've estimated with our panel of scientists that if they institute the World Trade Organization Codex, it will kill, by starvation, one billion people in five years and cause serious terminal illness of two billion within five years. That's our conservative estimate. So let's look at some of these points so you can understand how incredibly coordinated at a demonic level this is. Delinking the dollar. Greenspan jumping on the dollar to try to crash it. Visits the Middle East just in the last few months telling them, don't accept the US dollar. World Stock Exchange is public offerings. They switch the World Stock Exchanges and they put a public offering so that all of them can interlock and they literally have transferred to places like Dubai, the resurrection of the Babylon. Do you know that Dubai is Babylon? You know that for 5,000 years it was known even by the ancient Arab pirates as the pirate capital of the Middle East, Dubai. And the pirates like Dick Cheney and Dubai Ports World have moved back there. And they plan on, that's why NASDAQ was taken over by Dubai. That's why Dubai Ports World was cross-bidding with Halliburton Corporation to take over all the ports for America and Canada. You know that all your ports now are owned by and controlled by Halliburton Corporation? Were you aware of that? And now the stock exchange in New York since 9-11, since the sacrifice, an astral demonic sacrifice of 9-11, which is a demonic symbol using their architecture, the New York Stock Exchange is now the world stock exchange. And of course, just while I'm saying that, the uh, Blackwater Security USA is no longer Blackwater Security USA. It's Blackwater Security worldwide. Do you know the seven largest armies on Earth? are owned by corporations. Mortgage crisis, and while they, bear, uh, they bail out Wall Street, Wall Street, for its incompetence, allowing these kinds of illegal and criminal activity of leveraged uh, derivatives, 
they get bailed out to the tune of $30 billion, but people are losing their homes. And 20 million Americans could lose their homes this year, plus not be able to afford to eat, except if you go to the civil detention camp and you may never see your kids or wife again, or if you go for six weeks, they'll re-educate you, so you're willing to accept whatever they do, plus the forced vaccinations. Have a nice day. So you've got to look at this. In the economic warfare, using HARP against my, uh, Myanmar, and if we had more time, we'd spend in analyzing that in China. The war, the Fourth World War, because the third was the so-called phony Cold War, has already started. Only a terrorist doesn't carry one. Do you know that all the Canadian provinces except for the maritime provinces are already compliant with the driver's national ID? And of the 38 states that have said they won't be compliant, they've all asked for extensions, and only a few, including the governor of Montana and the governor of South Carolina, that actually passed a law. The governor of Montana said to go to hell. The only one with a friggin' backbone. Okay? Go, Montana. U.S. non-fed, non-reserve superpowers after Bear Stearns. So now, they get to regulate everything. So the non-fed, non-reserve, Queen Beatrix, European bunch of royal blood-sucking reptilian maniacs control our money even more. Okay? The global threat of climate shift. Now, if you don't see Al Gore and his fangs, Igor, I call them, his power scan with a carbon death, and I've had Dr. Tim Ball and other experts. I'm an environmentalist. I was a marine bacteriologist before I went into medicine in 73. I was a charter member of Greenpeace, a founder of Greenpeace. So I have a right to say this. This guy is a liar from the pits of the ninth ring of Hades. And you need to know that Carbon dioxide does an amazing thing. It's called a life gas because it makes plants grow faster. And guess what plants release? Oxygen, which we need to breathe. And internal combustion engines, which are, by, by the way, oil-based system uses. And we don't need a switch. Just like North Dakota has had scrubbers for 30 years, there's no need. If you have proper scrubbers, there's no need to generate pollution at all. And that means no heavy metals, no chemicals. But guess what we've done? We've exported our industry to China and Asia, where we can sit in California and breathe that nice Cal California air that's laced with heavy metals and toxins and burnt cell phones with cadmium, lead, mercury, and all the other crap that's made there because we've exported all our industry and they have 600 people that die or have permanent serious injuries every day in China because there's no environmental standards because we don't stand up for those Chinese citizens because they're just not Americans. Well, you better get a backbone whether there are people living downwind of the Bashir reactor that could get hit because two million billion people could be exposed to enough radioisotopes to destroy their life, kill them with cancer, or make them demented. And that could happen as early as next week. And the greatest sin is to be silenced in this horror. If we don't march in the streets now, we deserve to see nuclear weapons strike Los Angeles and San Diego and San Francisco. And this nation will be burnt with a fire of a judgment that's not the fire of crossing the plane of fire. It's a fire of not standing up and becoming a son or daughter of the Most High, which is not to fear man or any demonic being or transdimensional entity or any tall gray or any other creature, but to serve the creator of the universe with no fear. Today is a no fear day. And let every other day after this be a day of no fear because it's the elixir of death of our civilization. And they've been feeding us vile by vile. Every day and every month since 9-11, which is an inside job of the highest order. And it happened because we didn't have the guts to get investigations done properly of Oklahoma City, which was the first sacrifice that destroyed the Agent Orange documents, the rat line documents with the freaking Vatican, bringing in these mind control maniacs and the rockets and all their demonic technologies. And of course, the documents that showed all the transfers of the drugs coming in through me in Arkansas by the wonderful adopted son of Herr Bush Sr. Who, by the way, according to John Nikoloff, his real name is, is George Bush Scherf, the accountant for Nikola Tesla. And by the way, Nikola Tesla got his technology because his father had access to the Vatican Library and had documents going back to Atlantis that were in the Vatican Library. It's the most demonic organization on earth, the Vatican. If you don't understand that, 
you will not understand the entire repository of power and control from the ancient Roman Empire going right back to Atlantis was put in the Vatican. <clears throat> we have uh, energy, economy, destroyed middle class. We've had experts on, on the energy like Lindsay Williams. The price of fuel is so high right now we cannot put a crop in the ground and we cannot get it out this fall in America. And they will close our borders and make sure our food doesn't go to the third world. So 100 million souls, human beings, cells in the body of mankind are about to die because we don't stand up to these fools and these monsters. And it's going to happen this year. And when we don't stand up, no one will cry when America burns. Riding the beast. Superstorms, and if you think they haven't put any new production facilities for light crude, and there's no heavy crude facilities, know why? Because they want to destroy those two so you won't even be able to drive to work. And the truckers can't truck. So don't be surprised if this fall of all the combines are sitting parked on the freeways of America. And if you think it's not tied to the ET and the, and the other things, what John Fiala told me, him and Phil Schneider were taken by all the other engineers working for the U.S. Army Corps engineers making these underground cities. An interesting story, what they did is in the 1950s they're using what's called infrared, so they're using what's called vortex imaging technology and they saw all these pockmarks all over the earth. They said, well, what are they? And it took them a year or so to figure it out. By the mid-1950s they figured it out. It was dormant volcanic domes that when the crust of the earth moves, the feeder for that is no longer feeding it. So, you know, thousands or millions of years old, these are anywhere between five and ten cubic miles in size. So they use those or they use these tunneling machines that leave zero debris to make matrix cities. They have almost 140 cities in America that can hold 30 million Americans. And they have a project where they've already named and selected individuals that don't even know they're going to be abducted and brought down there. Did you know that? Do you know that that's already there? It's called the Horizon Project. That's real. I'm telling you classified information, this is real and it's directly tied with the ETs because when they brought them down under this project down in New Mexico, they brought them into this giant chamber which is an exact replica of the United Nations Central Chamber where they talk about with the, all the foreign delegates. And after they stood all these engineers in there, they waited around 45 minutes to say, well, we're getting tired of waiting. They marched in seven, seven foot tall gray aliens that then gave orders to the people that were their commanders as to what was going to happen. And they were told, this is where the decisions of Earth are made. If you don't think our world has literally been ruled by demonic entities, you better damn well think again. Okay? And if you believe the lie that we're still here because they must be good, I got a place in a city that you do not want to go to, and if you, if you live in any big city, there's places you know if you go there, you're not going to come back and lay in your bed tonight. Well, transfer to the UN, the law of the seas. Now what they've done with the law of the seas is they have NAFTA, the Trans-European Superhighway, Central Trans Transcontinental, and the reason why they're moving all these, these major expressways to the center of the continents is they know that the super storms and super tsunamis with the earth changes are going to strike North America on its side with a wall of water 900 feet high traveling at 546 miles an hour. And on the west coast here in California, that will be half a mile high traveling at Mach 1. Okay? There's proof. If you look at geology and shells and everything in the Altiplano Plateau at 11,000 feet along the coast of Chile and Argentina, that that tsunami that struck there roughly around three shards ago or 11,500 years ago dropped shells at 11,500 feet on the Altiplano Plateau. So you might want to think about what's coming. Now it's not going to happen right away, but believe me, the globalists are building these underground cities at a feverish pace because they want to have a nuclear war, they want to have a pestilence, they want to control you, they want to starve out and kill the third world, and they're ready to release the avian flu that's fully weaponized. If anybody disputes it, I'll dispute it right down to the coded DNA codons, right down for the individual genes and the amino acid numbers to prove to you, like the movie, you know, the series on TV, The Lost, that they took this and created a bioengine with the funding of the Rothschilds, right? 
the Rothschilds, directly under the orders of the Vatican, this is a fact, to build it at the World Health Organization, the National Institute of Al 